Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Apache JMeter on your Windows machine. So go to jmeter.apache.org and here you'll find page something like this. On the left hand sidebar, you will find link to download releases. Click on that. And when you go to this download page, you will be presented with options to download binaries or source code. You can choose between zip folder or tarball. So okay, click on any one of this link and then download that on your system. Once you download, go to the directory where you unzip it. So for me, it is D apps and Apache JMeter. Okay, so for you, it could be different. After that, simply open command prompt and here you have to check whether you have Java installed or not. Let's assume you are hearing about this for the first time. So you don't have Java installed, then go to Oracle's official website and then search for Java SE development kit link. So right now I have development kit version 8 to download. So depending on your operating system, there is a link to download the version that suits your computer. So for Windows 64 bit, it is right here. So once you install Java on your system, go to command prompt and type in Java dash version to check whether it is installed or not. So for me, it is version 1.8.025 is the current one as per this link you can also use powershell to check the same status i prefer powershell because i can easily use some of the administrative settings right here okay so both of command prompt and powershell are showing our current version of Java installed that means we are ready to run JMeter now go to the folder in which you have extracted Apache JMeter click on bin after that simply go and find this path script name as JMeter right click on it and run as administrator it will ask you UAC which is user account control Click on yes so that it will run and it will start one command prompt instance and in next instance it will show you the window for JMeter. As you can see this window in the background is JMeter. So you are presented with empty test plan and on the left side you have option for workbench as well. So this is the UI that you access simply by going to bin directory and then clicking on JMeter shell script. You can also access this same UI simply by going to your command prompt, then accessing the folder, which is apps. For me, it is apps you can have any other your folder name and i'm simply moving to apache geometer 2.13 then move to bin directory and here you can simply type in geometer and this should open instance of geometer from command prompt Okay, so now you know how to open this with the help of command prompt. You can also open server mode, also known as jmeter-server bat script by simply typing in jmeter-server.bat. Okay, so click on, simply type in and hit enter to start jmeter in server mode. 
okay and it will create the instance or geometry so you can pass in load and run your test within this mode using command prompt okay you can also terminate by using key combination control c and then select yes as option okay so one more thing to note there is this gmeter dash in windows command script which you can open for command line mode of your gmeter simply go type in gmeter dash in and as you can see it will ask you for the dot jmx file right so it is terminating so when you type in jmeter dash n then type the name of your file and then press dot jmx so this should run your test plan okay so in this video we covered how to download jmeter from official website also download java development kit and then how to access gui mode access command prompt mode and server mode for j